Hey, it's been a while. Thank you for all the questions and interest around Hexblast Saboteur. Maybe I'll do a quickie on in-game setups a bit later, but I'm not sure yet. Today I wanted to do a quick showcase of small testing I did on how to farm a decent amount of divines per hour by doing fairly easy maps. Farm in question is nothing new, it's a simple harvest farm, which is discussed far and wide, but I was curious on how profitable it is if you only focus on it, on nothing else. I did 96 city squares in 8 sets of 12. Why is that amount? I'm not sure honestly. I think I based that number on the fact that I will complete 3 sanctums during the fall project. And also 12 is a nice number for sextants. Bit of this run comes from new keystone on the atlas tree called Growing Hordes, which allows us to sacrifice scarabs to increase our map pack size. I used 4 polished, so it's a 28% increase. On top of that, we are going to be using Fortune Fairies the Brave for additional 10%. In the end, I averaged about 65% increased pack size per map. For this run, I've chosen City Square, as I love that layout, but in reality, almost every decent map will work. I then chiseled, alched and vialed every map, but in my opinion vial turned in to be somewhat mediocre, as I did sometimes kill my pack size. I used two somewhat cheap sextants, one for blue juice and one for harvest growth with four charges each. On map themselves, I rushed to the boss and then cleared the map, clicking on 95% of the altars related to quantity. Sometimes I would pick divination cards, but in my opinion, in the long run, quantity is a bit more stable profit. After map is done, I went to harvest and almost every time I picked yellow juice over blue juice, blue juice over purple juice. Just go by the feel of it. Yellow versus purple, purple got 3 tier 3 seeds, take purple. If blue got 2 tier 2, yellow got 2 tier 2, go with yellow, something like that. So my total expenses to run one map, about 34 chaos orbs, and per set is about 411 chaos orbs. I know this may sound like a lot, but wait until we get into profits. On average from one map, I gained 92 chaos orbs just from harvest juice, so a profit of 56 chaos orbs. Let's lower it a bit to 54, just to deflate numbers a bit. Hear me out, by doing 5 maps, we are able to profit a bit more than one divine just from harvest juice alone, not counting any drops from a map themselves. So from a 96 map run, I profit somewhere around 25 divine orbs just from juice, which in my case translates to around 4 divines per hour. If we count in some somewhat lucky drops from 96 maps, I'm up to 5 divines per hour. But mind you that I'm a somewhat slow mapper and a full clear of city square took me around 4 minutes. If you can do it in under 3 minutes then you are looking at a profit of 5 divines just from harvest. And the best thing is, life force is super easy to liquidate since most of the people would just buy like 10,000 at a time from you. So while I was doing a new set I've managed to sell my previous gains and could sustain sextants and scarabs even if I had almost zero chaos previously. As always, you can see all my data in the spreadsheet below. Feel free to ask any questions or just make a copy of it, adjust the prices of maps, scarabs, sextants and life force to see how profitable this strat would be at the day you are going to run it. I know this video feels a bit rushed, but I just want to show how you can make a decent amount of money without the need of selling like 3000 random bubblegum currencies and or without mind numbingly boring activities such as boss rushes plus sanctums.